Here are five short stories that tell everything about the partnership between Jews and Arabs in Israel. A year ago, a terrorist attack occurred in the city of Bnei Brak when a Palestinian terrorist arrived in the city and shot four innocent civilians. Amir Khouri is an Israeli Arab policeman who rushed on a motorcycle to arrive first at the scene. Amir charged with the motorcycle towards the terrorist and in fact sacrificed his life when he was shot and killed by the terrorist as his partner eliminated the terrorist. Amir's actions saved the lives of citizens in the ultra-Orthodox city and he paid for it with his life. And in Bnei Brak, they even named the street after him. Another sad yet an inspiring story is about a Jewish man saving the life of three Arabs from drowning, sacrificing his life to do so. Two and a half years ago, before going missing in the water, Michael Ben Zikri helped rescue a woman from the Bedouin town of Hora and her three kids from drowning. Sadly, he was found unconscious in the water and after he was rescued, there was nothing left that the medics could do but to pronounce his death. Later, the Arab Bedouin village is said in the Negev, south of Israel, renamed their street and today it's the Ben Zikri Street. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Rabbi Shlomo Gluster, an ultra-Orthodox Jewish man, fell terminally ill. He was treated at the Amic Hospital in the north of Israel by a Muslim nurse named Meher Ibrahim. When they realized at the hospital that the rabbi was about to die, they called his family to come say goodbye. But because of the snow in Jerusalem, the family was delayed. Meher, who took a course in Judaism at bar Ilan University, knew that there was a significance in reading the Shema Yisrael over a Jewish person. Before his death, Meher took a prayer book and said the Shema Yisrael. When he finished, the rabbi passed away. On Independence Day of that year, Meher got to light the torch of independence. The fourth and the fifth stories are combined and definitely unusual. Over 1,000 people have donated a kidney to another person as part of Matnat Chaim organization. Among the donors is Guy, a Jewish man from Beit Shemesh who donated a kidney to Imad, an Arab man from Nazareth. And Imad's father, Nidal, who donated a kidney to Miriam, a Jewish woman from Netivot. These stories are just examples from the daily reality of Israel, where Jews and Arabs live side by side, in peace, in partnership, in mutual respect. You wouldn't see these stories headlining the news around the world when it comes to Israel, but it's still the reality 